Yeah. yeah. And that's why I always think about it, you know, this progressive... I, I think of it as a as a cult or as a religion, right? Yeah. And that's what my heroes were. They were pushing back against the religion of their day, the yep. the, the right wing conservatives who were saying you can't say this, can't do this, you can't say Jesus, you can't talk, you can't. They were pushing back against that, and now I feel there's a, a, a movement of people starting to push back against this new religion. Yeah, and I think eventually it's gonna it's gonna turn around. That I, I'm an opt. He's a pessimist. I'm an optimist. Are you a pessimist? Oh, about massive this? pessimist, Joe. Do you know yeah. I, I've. Uh, I've started calling myself Fostradamus, mate, <laughs> because every one of my predictions comes true. In the last two years, yeah, it's true. When everything went to shit, I went, there'll be another lockdown. There was another lockdown. Yeah. People were going to me, it's only going to be two weeks. I'm going to go, mate, it lasts months. And I just yeah. sit there being really happy with myself. Well, that's why I moved to Texas. Yeah. yeah. I, know, I, I saw it coming. I, I moved out here. I mean, I started looking in May of 2020. Mm. It was a couple months after they locked everything down and we weren't back up again. I was like, oh, I see where this is going. Yeah. yeah. They enjoy this. They enjoy telling people what to do. You yeah. know, whether or not they honestly, earnestly think that they're protecting people, they are enjoying this power and control. Absolutely. And I don't like it. And the thing is, man, as I talk about in, in there, I've seen this before. Francis has seen this before, right? We come from countries. We've seen authoritarianism. And yeah. the truth is what scared me the most about COVID, it wasn't what the government was doing. It wasn't what the government was doing. It was how much people loved it. Yeah, they were embracing it. They fucking loved it. People were embracing the pharmaceutical companies, yeah. which was bizarre to me. The people that have been the most deceptive, that have caused irreparable damage to people and families because of lies, because of faking mm -hmm. studies, because of withholding data and information, mm -hmm. and they've been fined to the tune of billions and billions of dollars. And all of a sudden, people were putting all their eggs in that basket. And I was like, you guys are out of your fucking minds. Yeah. Like, you don't remember the past. You don't remember the, remember the history of what these people have done. And you don't they clearly don't understand how these studies work and how they get funded and how politicians get funded and how special interest groups are working behind the scenes to make sure that these things get mandated. Like, this is fucking spooky. That